Most presidential election years, Oregon is pretty quiet, pretty much left out of the spotlight. We have voted for the Democratic nominee since 1988. We have only seven electoral college votes compared to California, for example, with 55. And since we're three hours behind the East Coast, most of the time our polls haven't even closed before the election's been decided. But this year, we are front and center because of the ongoing riots in Portland. You had never called for the leaders in Portland and in Oregon to call because and bring they, in the National Guard and knock well, off a hundred days of riots. They can, in fact, take care of it if he just stay out of the way. Oh, Look here. Oh, really? Here, oh, really? Here's but the thing. That, no, I that, sent sorry, in no, the wait, U.S. Marshal to get the killer no, of that, a young man in the middle of the street. They shot him. Right. And for three Mr. days, President Trump, Portland President wouldn't Trump, do anything. I had to send in the U.S. Marshals. President they Trump, took care of business. So Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler, who has clashed several times with the president over the riots, ripped into him before Wednesday's council meeting. Like a virus infecting our body politic, intimidation and hate are being spread by Donald Trump. President Trump has called out Portland several times in the past, and Oregon political strategist Dan Levy, who has worked with candidates for more than 30 years, expects more before the election. Probably, although, you know, President Trump is losing this race, and so he needs to change the narrative. Uh, he needs to make this a choice between he and Joe Biden. Last night in the debate, he made the debate about himself. And it was rough, rougher than we're used to seeing. But it's not unheard of, says political scientist Jim Moore. In television, we've never seen it for a televised debate. But if we go back to the 1800s, this was the norm for debates for people running for national office. That rough and tumble name calling Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas kind of thing, that was what happened. And people responded to it, they cast their votes, and the country moved on. The country was able to survive it, and in some cases thrive because of it. Levy said the notoriety now is not helping anyone. What do you think this does for the brand of Portland? Uh, Portland's been hurt by this. There, there is no doubt. Um, the casual observer uh, across the country, um, they've not seen or heard much positive about Portland. Regardless of where you stand on the political uh, spectrum, um, unrest, uh, violence, uncertainty, uh, that's not a good brand and it doesn't, it doesn't wear well. Indeed, visitors to Kalispell, Montana will see our city's reputation used by Republicans in a less than flattering way. The national tension on problems here likely makes some in Oregon long for the good old days when presidential election years ignored us. It was quiet and we were out of the spotlight. In Northeast Portland, Pat Doris, KGW News.